Hi, this is Denisa, and in this video, I will go over how to write a program in Python on how to draw an Archimedean spiral. I've derived this coding challenge from Code by Math, which is a website where you can learn code and learn math in the context of each other. Um, and you should go check it out. So, um, um, this is the Archimedean spiral, as you can see here. It's a nice uh, picture on Wikipedia, and this is the spiral. Is a uh, is what will happen if you like draw a a straight line on a piece of paper, and then you spun it, spun the paper around, and you'll get this spiral. That's what the Archimedean spiral is. Um, and Code by Matthew uses Lua, as you can see here. It advises that you use P set, which is pixel set, but in this video, I'm going to use Python because that's what I'm learning. So this replacement for P set is going to be the turtle module. You can well draw stuff with it, um, and then we're going to import the math module because, as you can see here from Wikipedia, this I'm not going to tack, talk about the exact math and theory over the spiral itself. Um, as you can see here, it is need to need the cosine and sine functions to make the spiral. Okay, and we're going to make a so this is uh this is spi this is the, the coordinates of each point in the spiral. And we are going to make a for loop. Uh, first, we'll make a screen actually for the turtle function so we can draw. And then you'll have a for loop in range. So, this we're going to draw 200 points. This is the amount of points you're going to draw. So, you have you'll have x and you'll have y. Um, and then this is so the equation you get to derive each point on this spiral is vt plus c multiplied by the cosine of wt and this is uh, v refers to the constant velocity of the point that moves around this uh, the coordinate system and then the time is zero so so we're going to have a variable vt which is equals to uh, i mm -mm. which is of course going to be uh, time really and then we're going to multiply that by pi uh, and then you're going to divide uh, it by a certain number let's say 20 you'll see uh, this will play a part in this number here We'll play a part in how the circle looks like later, and so we'll have uh, v t t multiplied plus c uh, multiplied by cosine of t. Um, so we're going to have v t plus and c. You will see later when the spiral is being drawn that it's actually. Uh, the length between these these lines of the spiral. So I'll give it any arbitrary number actually, and then we'll multiply it by the cosine of vt. And then for our y coordinate, uh, we're going to have basically the same, but we're going to multiply it by the sine of vt, and we're going to have our total turtle go to that spot um that's that's the p set function i mean the kind of the equivalent of this p set function is going to draw a pixel um and then we'll have uh an exit on screen or let's exit on click for the turtle function and then we can see um this work
Okay, so you have this very small spiral. Uh, hold on. This this is supposed to be uh, multiplied by, by the way. Okay. Uh, so we'll see that again. The it'll, the width will grow. Basically. I mean, the length of the spiral should be bigger than it was. Okay, there you go. Uh, it's quite big. And now it does resemble the spiral that we were shown. Uh, and then I'll... And then I want to... I want to, I want to show what... Uh, what varying some of these values will mean. So if you make this smaller, like I said, it'll be... The spaces between the lines of the spiral will be smaller. You can see that here. And then varying this value that's in the VT, um, you can it'll actually it'll actually uh, it'll actually um, you'll get how do you say this a bigger spiral, but it'll be less kind of smooth because you you're deciding how much um, how much the pixel moves by each time. So if you make this. So if this if you make this extremely smooth, you'll get an extremely smooth spiral, but it won't it won't be a very big spiral because the pixels are moving at a really slow rate. So that's the velocity times time, right? So it moves less so that the 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 circle is much smoother, but it'll be smaller. And you can make that bigger by making making the number of x and y points larger. You can see that here. There, the circle's still quite smooth, but is bigger. Also, I forgot to mention that this plus C is uh, this is actually T. Uh, Sorry, the plus C is an um, offset, you can say. So, you can do plus uh, 1. And you, you'll you do VT plus 5 first, but you'll have plus 1. Um, you mean, you, you kind of still get the spiral, but if you really want to, without, the, without that C, but if you... If you if you wanted to you know adhere to the formula uh, and add this bit in here you can you can do that you can make it a much bigger value actually and there you go okay that's that's it uh, thanks for watching and. Thanks for watching and go check out Code by Math.